Good day and welcome to Barely Entertainment. I am Bjorn Minspare and this is once again Chrono Trigger. Um, picking up where we last left off, uh, which is the Magnolia Cathedral, a uh, cathedral, I think. And I see in the chat, who do I see in the chat? Myself, also Kyle, and Sam, and Dave, and Kyle again, and Sam again. And that's pretty cool. Hi there, I hope you are alright and will enjoy this stream. So as I said, we left off in the Magnolia Cathedral, uh, trying to rescue Queen Lean. Um, which was... Uh, who was... Um, uh, well, um, she was... Kidnapped by monsters and That's not good because if she stays kidnapped then the future will change and our friend Marl will not be able to live in that future because she's a descendant of oh my god Dave Thank you very much. I I'm just noticing that the alert box is there. There it is So I'm going continue, to continue to support this channel. Thank you very much Dave for three consecutive months in a row. That's very nice of you, thank you very much. So as I said, um, Marl uh, will not be able to live in, in a future a future where um, Queen Lean is basically dead because um, she's a descendant of her. So, no, stop that, you idiot. I said a million times that once just a decoy. Her. Wow, that, that was an amazing jump. Staking past me, huh? You must really think you're smart. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay. Just keep atta attacking. Because I think I'm well enough equipped to just keep on attacking. Uh, keep on attacking. Okay, so... Let's get over here because the stairs are... Slippery now. A mad bat. I guess this mad bat is pretty mad lad. Twelve experience points, two tech points, and some some G. G is always good. Need to push this one. Oh no, this just resets the bats. Well, that's more experience points for me. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I forgot that these bats are usually very hard to to hit, but Dave, our frog, um, is already uh, pretty well equipped with a very special item that makes him hit critically very often. So I, I, I was talking about our friend Marl when actually I was uh, talking about... wait, wh who was it again? Uh, 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 I forgot who did. I, uh, uh, what name did I call Marl? Who? Uh, uh, Phila, right? That's that's Phila. That's uh, Zugai's original character, and she is a descendant of Queen Lean, of course. Wow! What a punch! Also, just to say this, uh, please forgive me if I'm not as talkative today as I was last time, because I have a bit of a headache. Um, like, I don't think sunlight is good for me, at least not directly projected onto my brain <laughs> or something. <laughs> um, yeah, like, I have a little bit of a, of a what's called a sunstroke, I guess, but just, just a very little bit, just a very tiny one. So, don't worry, it'll be gone tomorrow. Yeah, Sam's level increased! Congratulations, Sam! Yeah, I will by tomorrow, for sure. Thanks, f uh, please don't worry, please don't worry about me. I'm usually not one who uh, has headaches for a very long time. No entry within. Well, what kind of entry are you talking about? There's no door here, so what is this letter even... Uh, this note even uh, hanging there for? <laughs> Kill all the enemies. You also have a headache, Dave. That's very unfortunate. But, yeah, I mean... I... 
I had basically years almost uh, when I hardly got out uh, out of my 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 room out of my house even um, that was back when I was unemployed and uh, very very depressed and um, because of some personal stuff that happened and I'm just walking right by there not a big deal um, and uh, ever since then m not only are my eyes very light sensitive um, but also I think my my head as as a whole is very sensitive to sunlight um, like when I stay f uh, out too long or I stay t uh, in in the sunlight for too long especially when it's kind of warm or very warm um, then uh, I I get a headache I get I'm, I'm easily I, I'm easily stricken by the sun, so to speak. <clears throat> yeah, I, I also hope you feel better soon, Dave. <clears throat> yeah, well, I mean, it's uh, it's it's a bit dumb actually that that it does happen to uh, to people like us. But well, I mean. I guess it's it's all about the insecurity and all that other stupid stuff. Like it's I'm I'm a pretty intro intro per, introvert person, um, uh, and or, or at least I was. I'm trying to be uh, to be more extrovert for uh, si uh, since a few months months and um, well. I'm I'm not having the best of times <laughs> in that regard. I mean, I'm still I'm still a, a happy person. It's not like I'm uh, like I'm depressed or something. I can live w live with uh, my introvertness, but I'd like to simply uh, meet more people, be able to talk to people. You know, like. When I go to some kind of festival or whatever, I'm just I just want to be able to talk to people that seem to have the same interests as me. Uh, otherwise, they wouldn't be at that specific festival, I guess. And um, yeah, that's that's one of the things I'm just I just want to change a little bit about my life. It's just being a bit more outgoing and talkative and not as shy and all that stuff. I actually, I actually hate it a little bit that I'm, that I'm super shy for some reason. I, I, I guess I never had the yes, we're gonna have a blast in August, Sam. Um, definitely, for sure. I mean, I, I'm looking forward to it, forward to it like, yes, all the time. <laughs> okay, just gotta equip that iron sword. Uh, swords are frog stuff, so let's equip it. Iron sword. No, no description. Oh no, it does have a description. A standard iron military sword. Okay, just a second. Need to adjust something on my monitor real quick. Just so I have, sorry, so I have um the lower screen and upper screen of my of my system on the same screen uh, while still being able to enjoy the chat. Okay, uh, organ. Organ is important. I always knew Dave was a frog. Yeah, Dave is a frog. Like, it seems li to me like uh, a frog is what Dave... Uh, a frog is basically Dave's, Dave's spirit animal, you could say. It's it's that's what I'm thinking at least. I don't know what it, what it is about you and frogs, Dave, but well, they fit you for some reason, I guess. <laughs> Let's beat those people up, though. Those monsters, those fiends. I don't even know if they're still called fiends in the DS version of the game. Um, like. Uh, as I said last time, the the translation of the DS game was redone. As opposed to the Super Nintendo and PlayStation versions, um, the PlayStation version, especially, I don't want to actually talk about because that's just a very horrible game to play. 
Um, but yeah, um, just real quick, the PlayStation version was based on the Super Nintendo version, so uh, in terms of translations, and for the DS version they took a completely new route, did it, did it completely differently. Frogs are always cool. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I uh, am not very fond of them in the real world, but in games they're usually quite... quite cool, yeah. Also, I hope uh, the game is not too loud or anything. Um, on my monitor right now, it's uh, it should be way more silent than I am. I wonder if all bears get headaches when they are in the sun, since they hibernate so much. That's a very good question that I don't have an answer to, Sam. <laughs> okay, I have to use an item. And that's the shelter, because I am... Hmm, yeah. More than half dead. And also, there's the boss coming up, so... There's that. Bears hibernate when it's cold. The sun is fine, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I mean, I'm not a real bear. I'm just pretending to be one, if anything. Um, but yeah. Prepare yourself, Queen Lena. This time you bid farewell to this world. Oh no, it's the Chancellor. You? How did you get in here? Dave! Flee, your majesty. We shall dispatch this fiend. Be careful. On the subject of introversion, I think it's a fine way to be. I mean, you can't really fight against introversion. Uh, like, you're either, either introverted or you're not. Uh, I... You can turn one way or another, you can turn out one way or not or another when you grow up, and maybe you can even uh, change your your lifestyle to be more extrovert, extroverted than introverted, but it, f to me it's very hard and very stressful trying to be extroverted and, and all that stuff. It's, it's not easy, and I'm easily stressed uh, too, so, so there's that. Gahaha! <laughs> There's no use in fighting! None of you will leave this place alive! I have all the signs of an extrovert, except I'm super awkward and don't have any friends with, uh, within thousands of miles from here. Um, yeah, Dave, it's basically the same with me. I'm only an introvert when I'm amongst people I don't know. Like, when I'm on a uh, at a party or when I'm uh, at a... At a bar or something like I feel very uncomfortable and that's because I'm I'm very in introvert introverted and um, but I feel more extroverted when I know the people when I'm friends with them at least online and meeting them in person for the first time or second time or, or whatever like um, for example I have never met Sam in real life for now but I know that I would not be Let's say afraid of her, you know, I don't go to parties at least I don't go to parties where I don't know people um, I'm not I'm usually not uh, much of a party goer uh, not at all um, As I said, I have problems amongst uh, um, Being among people. I don't know Yeah, hey uh, <laughs> Kyle pinching is the least thing the, the least uh, 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 terrifying thing about Sam, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's let's uh, follow the game again. Intolerable frog, let us see you hop out your way out of, out of this. Enough of this chancellor charade. Oh no, he's a slug. Or a very big microbe. The Chancellor transformed into Yakra. Oh no! It's Yakra! Okay, let's let's just kill him real quick. Um, whoa! Oh, I, I forgot that I have uh, the weight option on. Oh no. Uh, Hypno Wave, right? Too close to counterattack. Oh right! Yeah, I forgot that. Um, Yakra, you have to. You, you should uh, attack Yakra. 
anytime you he's close to the characters. Like um, Sam should now focus on he focus on healing and not attacking Yakra unless Yakra is close to her. Um, like uh, it's also very important uh, to uh, choose the person closest to Yakra to attack. So, wait, item potion to Sam, because Sam's almost dead. Also, uh, there's just too much stuff going on right now. I should not have put the battle system to wait. It's a bit complicated. Heal Amanda. Can I be the, I'm gonna love the old school? Wait, I gotta I gotta read the, the chat real quick because I don't want to miss out on anything. <laughs> gotta love old school transformations that got away with just flashing between the two states. Uh, yeah, that's actually pretty cool, and I think it's still if you if, seriously, I'm I'm super fucking serious with what I, with what I'm saying right now. If you ever do a game that's that has has a retro 2D pixel art style. Try doing it like this. Either like this or very awesome animation. Don't do anything half-assed. Either just flash between the states and make it like super 16-bit retro or, or, or go, go all out like, uh, let's say, like Metal Slug or uh, Old Boy or any of, the, uh, any of those awesomely animated pixel games. Um, because otherwise it, just, it, it looks weird and not satisfying enough basically you know just do metal slug yeah <laughs> hey it, it's um i know it's uh, those are very uh weird words to say because i everyone knows that metal slug um has or, or not everyone but many people know metal slug has it's, it's like top-notch pixel art it's, seriously it's uh <sighs> it's so very, very beautifully pixel animated. Like at at 30 frames per second, as uh, every every animation is animated at 30 frames per second, and it's amazing. the The detail that goes into it is just unbelievable. And um, <laughs> still, there are people who manage to be that efficient in their pixel art. Just look at Old Boy. Old Boy looks amazing in terms of art style, in terms of animation. It's just beautiful to look at, and it, it seriously, it it can go toe to toe with Metal Slug, in, but when it comes to pixel art and fluid animation. Even if I could do it, you don't have the budget or the manpower. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> Yes, old boy took years and years to make. I know. Um, I'm just saying it's not impossible. And if you can go for it, then go for it. If you can't go for it, then don't. But don't do anything in between, is what I'm trying to say. Thank you, Dave. I knew you'd come to rescue me. His Majesty awaits most anxiously. We should return to the castle. Sam, what is it? Do you need to play old boy? I think I can set something up if that's the case. <laughs> I thank you, Amanda and Sam, for all your aid. And I as well. Please accompany us to the castle. You will be most welcome guests. It's going to work very hard to make it like Metal Slug. You know, Dave, making a game like Metal Slug doesn't necessarily mean that you have to animate it like Metal Slug. You can do a, uh, a Metal Slug style run and gun shooter. Um, like, look at Contra. Contra is, I think, except for Contra 4 on the DS, um, no Contra game is as fluidly animated as Metal Slug. It, it also, I mean, it's it depends on the art style, of course. Like, if you have a very detailed art style, then I don't recommend going for Metal Slug style animation. If you don't have that many details um, on your characters and everything, then yeah, why not try it? I mean, at least at least try it in uh, uh, for like um, uh, as an as an as a project 
sort of, you know, what am I trying to say? Um, as a study, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, study the art style, study the animation, study how it looks like uh, there was a time when I was way deeper into pixeling. Hey, Zuge, welcome to the stream. Um, there was a time when I was way deeper into pixeling, uh, pixel arts and stuff and all that stuff, where I just tried to adopt the art style of metal surfaces from Metal Slug. And it it worked really well. It took me like a week to just adopt that style. And that's actually pretty cool because I didn't think I could do that. But it 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 worked and I don't think I have anything to prove that to you <laughs> that I that I once uh, did that. Oh, hey, Silent Knight 8606. Thank you for the follow. Thank you very much. Okay, now let, let's get back to the game. Woo, my thanks! That monster stuffed me in there like a sack of coin! Oh, your majesty! I am undamaged, as you can see! Obtained mid ether. I can't pixel art worth a crap. Uh, Dave, it's all about the study. Seriously, just... It's not a bad thing to look at something that you like and try to copy the style for, uh, at first. Out of that, you will... Uh, you can do that with several different art styles. And out of that, you will create your own pixel art style. Like, um... I don't think I have a very specific pixel art style. Except maybe, um, over blurring everything because I'm not good at using anti-aliasing. and anti Anti-aliasing and whatever it's called. And, um, but that's beside the point. It's just... Adopt uh, an art style or try to copy it and make your own out of it. It's it's very it's, it's it's Actually, it could be that easy. It's just like it's it's a lot of work. It will not happen in just uh, in, in three days or something it takes Months and years of practice of course. It's like with any other art uh, kind of art. It takes you a long time to get there. My approach is to wing it and try to get away with as little, as little work as possible. Um, Sam, I think you are having a very interesting approach to pixel art from what I've seen in your streams. Um, like, f <laughs> for one, you are using uh, an... What's it called? The thing you draw on, you know? Uh, <laughs> I forget my words today, what the fuck? Um... A tablet, thank you very much. You're using a uh, graphics tablet uh, to uh, for your pixel art, which is very uncommon uh, a very uncommon thing to do, but actually not not stupid. It's actually very clever because you can just draw whatever you want, and um, and if you can draw well enough, or even if you can't draw well enough, um, stuff will come out of it, and usually stuff looks good, at least when I look at yours. Uh, it's it's just it looks good, um, but tablets are very common for pixel art. I have I'm very serious. I have never met anyone who used a tablet for pixel art before I got to know Sam. I'm very serious about that. Everyone is just using a mouse. Like I'm using a mouse for pixel art all the time. I never use a tablet. Uh, and. I mean, maybe some of you remember some of my stupid animations I did for Pixel Dailies way back when, um, like how to click a mouse, and um, it, I did that with just my mouse. It, 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 I never used used my my graphics tablet back then because I had none back in the back when that happened, or the the Mega Man Lemon Shooty thing that. It still doesn't have a thousand likes, but almost. <laughs> um, I did that with a mouse. I never used a tablet before for pixel art. I still haven't used a tablet for pixel art. And um, yeah, I, that's why I think it's uncommon. And, and since I'm coming out of a, a big German RPG maker community um, where uh, there are a lot of pixel artists, none of them used a tablet. 
Seriously, they all use a mouse, and they're awesome with that, and and it's it's good. I it's just from my experience that I've never met any person before Sam uh, who used the tablet for pixel art. Yes, let us be on our way. No, I wanted to talk to the Chancellor. You cannot go. No, uh, you cannot know how I worried, Lean. Yakra, that vi vile beast, impersonating me and kidnapping the queen. We must institute a stricter criminal justice system in this kingdom to ensure such fiends never threaten the royal family's safety again. I am disgraced. I failed to protect my queen. Dave! And off he goes, into the sunset, never to be seen again. Lol, JK, he's coming back. Yakra, that vile beast, impersonating me, blah blah blah, that's exactly what he said before. I am forever in your debt. Who knows what would have happened to me had you come, had you come even a little later, later than you did. By the way, what became of the girl who was mistaken for me? Oh yeah, I forgot all about, about Princess Nadia. Amanda, where did the princess disappear? She may be there now. You have my deepest gratitude, Lord Amanda. But I wonder, who then was the was that girl we found in the canyon? This oh oh no oh the the music's gone. I just wanted oh I almost started to make up a text again for the song. Huh? What happened? Princess Nadia! Amanda! It was awful. I was so afraid. I couldn't see or feel anything, but I knew I was someplace cold. I wonder if that's what it's like to die. Your Highness, I... You came to help me too. Wait, Your Highness? Uh-oh. I guess you guys figured me out, huh? Sorry, Amanda, I didn't mean to trick you. <laughs> my name is uh, my name is really Nadia. My father's king, my, my father's king guardia, the twenty third, thirty third. Oh, I need to learn my Roman numer numerals. Rocky two plus Rocky three is Rocky five. If anyone gets that reference. <laughs> I just wanted to go to the fair and have fun like everyone else. But if you'd known who I really was, you wouldn't have shown me around the fair, would you, Amanda? Yes, I would have. <laughs> oh, Amanda, that's why I like you. <laughs> the real queen's safe, right? Let's go home, Amanda. And the song's gone again. Dum, dum. You must be the real Queen Lean. My, we truly could be twins. You get along with the uh, you get along well with the king now. You hear? Or I'll get angry. Actually, I wouldn't be able to do that, would I? Hmm. Uh, never mind. I just uh, wish you all the best. Ah, good. You are safe, even to look again. Now you are the ghostly image of Lean. Your manner, on the other hand... Well, never us mind that. You've done me a great service. If there is aught I, I might... If there is aught I might do for you, simply speak it and it will be done. My, you could be the Queen Lean's twin. The Queen Lean's tween. Okay, uh, that's that. I guess... Oh, there's, f there's Dave. It was my presence here that endangered the queen. I can remain at, th at this castle no more. Eek! Indeed, your resemblance to the queen is uncanny. Amanda, you have the makings of a great swordsman.
Maybe frogs aren't so bad after all. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> dun 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 dun. Oh. Okay, let's get. Oh no! Let's kill those dudes. Wow! Shot a ball right right in her face. Let's kill those dudes too. Because there have not been enough dudes being killed. Also, experience points are always good. All the dudes. Exactly. To me, enemies are always just dudes. Well, not always, but most of the time. Very often. That Findillo is very annoying. Also very dead. Everything and everyone is a dude. That's correct. That stone is a dude, that flower is a dude, that imp is a dude, that chest over there is a dude, Sam is a dude, Chrono is a dude, uh, that tech I just learned is a dude, everything's a dude. And that's totally okay. So, how do we get home? Well, your highness, we... Please call me Phila. Well then, Phila, observe! Whoa! Sam, you're amazing! I'm Samuel L. Jackson. Are you Samuel L. Jackson? <laughs> Sorry, I should be more humble in front of... Enough already! I'm a princess! But what's that mean? I can't do anything special! But you, you're incredible! i trade my name for your genius in a heartbeat! Well, if you say so. Anyway, I call these distortions gates. They're basically portals to the same location in a different time. But gates are unstable, that's why they appear and disappear all the time. So I used the principle behind my, uh, behind my teleport device to create this gate key. It's what's lo locking the gate in place. But why did this gate suddenly appear in the first place? Either the teleport has had something to do with it, or something else made it. This is starting to sound complicated. Why don't we head back to our own time for now? Alright, coming, Amanda. Sam, if you're really Samuel L. Jackson, then I just want to congratulate you on a job well done in the latest, in the in the last few uh, Marvel movies. So, <laughs> thanks for the amazing uh, 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 acting in those movies. <laughs> Woo, we made it! Amanda, Sam, why don't you come back with me to the castle? It would give me a chance to thank you properly for everything. You haven't seen those yet. <laughs> You should, I mean, like... Mm, yeah, you were fabulous. <laughs> no, but but seriously, if you haven't seen the Marvel movies, like... Give them a try. Like... They're amazing. I really, really love them. And I'm uh, currently watching them all uh, again. I mean, I wanted to watch them all before Avengers Endgame, but I didn't make that. So I still continue my journey through the world of Marvel Cinema of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and I finished um, the second Avengers movie just before this stream so yeah still amazing all amazing movies I'm really sorry for putting you through all this Phila 
What are you talking about? It was the best, the most fun I've had in months, and I made so, uh, my, I made new friends too. Beep boop, mostly FK, but I'll hang around. Thank you, Flora. Also, hi, welcome to the stream. Uh, I was talking Mar Marvel for just two minutes. <laughs> Like, I don't want to spoil anything about Endgame right now, even though I could, but that would not be fair to anyone. Amanda, be a gentleman and take her home. I still need to do a little bit more snooping into what the into why that gate appeared. See you again soon, Sam! Well, Amanda, are you ready to escort me home? Oh, I'm an escort now. Hmm. Interesting. No, Melchior is still here. Melchior the Swordsmith, at your service. Might I interest you in one of my fine blades? He's still here? I thought that he would leave once, uh, once you're done with the past. But okay, I'm just gonna buy that silver sword right now. Because, well, that's just a dang fine sword. I live on the continent or to the east. Come and see me if you ever have the need. By the way, is there any chance you could talk that young lady into selling her pendant to me? No. Equip the new sword. Steel saber, silver sword. And now let's bring her home. Guardia Forest. Go over here because I think there's a special item. Over here, right, there's a strength capsule. That I really want to use at once. On Amanda. Hmm, let's leave those mushrooms alone. But not those. No, oh, critical hit, nice. Oh no, it's a bird with a bell. Another critical hit, wow. That's amazing, uh, amazing. like, usually Marl never does this many critical hits. <laughs> Especially not in a row. Okay, there's nothing over here, sadly. More mushrooms, yeah, okay, let's, let's kill those mushrooms. They're not supposed to be alive anyway. Open glade ahead. Hey, there's a mysterious forest sealed it shut. Oh no! Well, can't do anything here right now, and this is isn't the home of Phila uh, anyway. So we gotta go here. Princess Nadia, are you all right? Where on earth have you been? We heard you were abducted. We had soldiers coming the entire kingdom for you. Hmm, you back there! You're the one, are you? Thought you'd kidnap the princess? No, Amanda only. Seize him! Seize the filthy terrorist! He deceived our princess and plotted to overthrow the crown! The crown, not the crown. No, no, you mustn't! St 
stop this right now! What are you fools doing? But her highness, the princess said... It doesn't matter what she said, seize him! Amanda! This is the best song in the game, in my opinion. Because I made a very, very nice 8-bit rendition of that. <laughs> I, your chancellor, shall serve as a prosecutor. As prosecutor, sorry. I, Pierre, represent the defense. Members of the court. I will now bring forth the defendant, Amanda, who is charged with the abduction of Princess Nadia. What shall be his fate? To burn at the stake, perhaps? To feel the tickler or hang upside down? Or shall we employ the guillotine? The choice is yours, good jurors. Now, let us begin! We shall first hear the testimony of the defense. Of the defense, whatever. Amanda is charged with premeditated, pre premeditate, premeditated, premeditated abduction of royalty. The question is, how could he be guilty of a crime that never occurred? The prosecution would have you believe that the defendant kidnapped the princess, however the truth is quite to the contrary. Not only was their meeting a coincidence, but it was the, the princess herself who asked Amanda if she could join him. Is this true? Who was responsible for initiating contact? Phila was. Are you so certain? Our witnesses say that you were the one who bumped you the, into the princess. Apparently not. Oof, she said. Ouch, she, she said again. Having subdued the princess, the defendant then coerced her into visiting Sam's little sideshow. There, was, there, there were countless witnesses to this. Shortly thereafter, both the princess and the defendant vanished. If that is not criminal abduction, I don't know what is. Several other, acts, uh, <clears throat> several other acts have also been brought to my attention that call the defendant's character into question. Objection! This cannot possibly have any relevance to the case! Care to respond, Chancellor? Um, mm. Amanda's character is at the very core of this case, Your Honor. This evidence will show that his testimony cannot be trusted. Very well, we have nothing to hide. I would like to call a witness who can vouch for the defendant's good character. That man brought me my kitty back. Thank you, mister. How about that? The man before you is a fine, upstanding youth. He deserves to be honored, not put on trial. Whew, looks like they're buying it. The real issue here is motive. Was there any motive for this good youth to kidnap Princess Nadia? No, there was none. Pardon me, but I believe the motive was quite, quite clear. Greed. Her fortune to tempt you, did it not, Amanda? No. Are you sure you weren't in the least bit tempted? Not at all. Good people, please remember that the defendant claims he had no interest whatsoever in the princess's wealth. Allow me to introduce our next witness. I saw it with my own eyes. Dear me, I'm so nervous. That man grabbed the pendant right after he bumped into the princess before he even checked to see if she was okay. Well, that, that, that might be true. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, is that all? I can go now. Goodbye, everyone. Nothing more, Your Honor. The prosecution rests. 
Members of the jury, it is time for a verdict. If you believe the defendant guilty, stand to the left. Innocent, to the right. Not guilty! Boo boo, of course. Not guilty! Not guilty. Guilty. Not guilty. Not guilty. Wait, there are seven? I thought there were only six. Guilty. Well, it's five to two, I guess. So, I guess I won. Order in the court. A verdict has been reached. The defendant has been found not guilty. But even if he did not kidnap the princess, the fact remains that he aided her in her flight from the castle. In sentence... I, I sentence the accused to three days of solitary con confinement as punishment. Take him away! Stop! P Princess Nadia! That's quite enough, young lady. But father... All I asked was for you to remain at the castle and behave like a princess. What's done is done. Even royalty must obey to the laws of the land. Leave the rest up to the Chancellor and forget about your little escapade in town. We are through here. Amanda! Well, that's a very... stupid... system they have in place. <laughs> Like, hey, he's innocent, but still, three days dungeon. This man is a sed seditionist who meant to overthrow our kingdom. Oh my god, thank you, Dave, for the hundred bits. <laughs> Congrats on your not guilty verdict. Hey, Dave, you are now the number one bit cheerer in this... Uh, in in this on this channel, congratulations! <laughs> yes, you are number one. He has been found guilty by trial. I trust him to your to your care. Kick in the butt. So this is the monster who abducted abducted the princess. His execution is three days hence. See that he is still here to attend it. Execution? I don't recall hearing anything about that. No cause for concern! There's only been a small delay in the paperwork. Or do you mean to question me? N never sir! Guards! That other David better step it up. Yeah, like, I guess the other David, uh, needs to step up. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Take the prisoner away! Okay, so we could do... Wait, I, I have to pause the game real quick, if possible. Just a second... Okay, um... Two things we can do here. First, we can actually wait for those three days and be executed. Which is a special cutscene that's actually... That n no, not many people know about, actually. Or... Two, we could simply escape the jail cell. Um... Number one doesn't take as long as you might think it would take. It might take. So I just want you people to choose whether one, we're gonna stay in the cell, or two, we're gonna escape from the cell. Like, vote right now in chat. Please, thank you very much. <laughs> and while you're voting, I'm just gonna take a drink real quick.
Can you escape while on your way to being executed? Um, not exactly, Dave, but kind of, yeah. That would still require me to stay in my cell for three days. What's this? The sympathizer from your trial brought that for you. Enjoy it while you can. Yeah, sadly a mana isn't here. Obtain two ethers. Oh, I think it's... Dawn or whatever. HP and MP restored. <gasps> Days remaining until execution two. Let's save real quick. Yeah, actually Amanda should decide her own fate, but she's not here, sadly. So, for now, I'm going to stay in jail because two people said so, and the other six people who are apparently watching didn't. Okay, one day left. It's night again and nothing changes. <laughs> Finally, the execution day has arrived. I've come to escort you to the executioner's block. Come along. So yeah, as I said, this is a cutscene that not many people have seen, apparently, because um, people usually just try a lot to get out, out of the cell and usually do. Also, why is that guy's face not behind bars? <laughs> yeah, so um, the scene... I haven't seen this cutscene. Uh, for a long time. I think the first time I saw it was a few years ago, uh, uh, maybe, and I, will, I was very surprised because I never expected it to actually happen. <laughs> Your sentence will be dispensed by guillotine. Do you have any last words? Does Chrono have any words, is the question. Amanda, I came to rescue you! What?! Sorry, but you're sort of in the way. Lights out, boys! Look at the badassery from Sam, that's so awesome. So what do you think of my disposable Zonker 38? Pretty cool, huh? Well, we'd better not stick around too long, let's go! Haha, <laughs> awesome. He's unconscious. Not dead, just unconscious. Paints br a bronze armor, uh, uh, armor, armor. I mean, of course. Uh, let's see. Oh, 41. Holy crap! That's a lot. Yeah, I guess I should just give him the bronze ar armor. Armor. Is this guy also unconscious? No. Uh, yes. Yes, he is, and he's also unconscious. Haha! <laughs> now they're stuck in there. Obtained mid potion. Help me, please! Free him from the guillotine, yes, of course. Thank you, that was close. I'm Fritz, my father runs the, mar mar runs the market in truce. Stop by if you're ever in the, in the area. <laughs> Sam came to rescue Amanda, as we all hope. That's correct. <laughs> He's unconscious. Obtained mid potion. Oh, right. Like. Wait a second. I can knock this guy out cold as well. And I think I can actually get another mid potion from him. That's awesome. This is Metal Gear Solid before Metal Gear Solid. That's pretty cool. He's unconscious. Obtained mid potion. I also have to go back into my cell real quick. Or at least the cell block. Because 
there's another cell beside besides mine that had a treasure chest. There he is! And I want to see if I can get in there. Oh my god, it's a long way from from there to my jail cell. Okay, let's try this. Oh my god, I actually I got the the magic pixel, the magic X coordinate. Oh no, it doesn't go all the way up. Okay. Um okay then. Um I am going to save the game here and we'll continue Chrono Trigger next time, but Please don't go anywhere because I am going to play Kid Icarus Uprising in a few minutes. Like, why, why, why did, I, did I say minutes? I mean, a few seconds. I can just, um, I can just switch the game. Please ignore the sound glitch. That happens. <laughs>